Man attempts to hijack plane. On November 11, 2023, police responded to a theft complaint at a local gas station in La Crosse, Wisconsin. 31-year-old Cody Anderson stopped by to pick up some cigarettes. Due to him not having his ID, they were unable to sell it to him. In response, Cody decided to snatch the cigarettes from the employee and fled the store. Josh. Kim got his license plate. Basically what happened is he came in, he wanted to buy two cartons of cigarettes. And I said, can I see your ID? Because he looked younger. I didn't recognize him. He goes, I don't have my ID. I'm like, I'm sorry, I cannot sell them to you. And he's like, I'll do anything. What do you want? How much is it going to cost? What do you want? I said, I can't sell them to you. He like grabbed them from my hands and took off running out the door. So I started chasing him and then I'm like, crap, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> but adrenaline was flowing. Yeah. And so I said, I'm calling the cops. Well, then Tony said he did drop a hundred dollars I have no idea what it costs. It's like 200. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do you have any video of the yes. guy? Don't yep. Yep. There he's reaching for the cigarettes. And there he grabbed them. And there I go. <laughs> the chase after him. <laughs> I'll see if I can identify him and you know, have him come back and pay for the rest. And okay. Still charge him, whatever. But... Okay. All right. Thanks, Jeff. About 25 minutes later, Cody decided to up his rampage to the max level and rammed his vehicle through a locked gate at the La Crosse Regional Airport. An employee said they saw him doing several donuts around an airplane and driving down the runway before parking at a small jet. Cody then brandished a knife towards an employee before boarding Breakfast the equals inhaled. Crew members were present. Right. Would you be able to clear to assist the yeah. air? They have a person driving a car on this trip possibly talking to you. Um, I'll call you later. Somebody driving on the airport, I guess. got on top of the jet, he closed the door, he did brandish a knife at me. Like. He got on the jet? He got on the jet. I know, before I copy that, he also did a uh, display of knife. And I believe you're going to be my theft suspect from Quick Trip. Upon arrival, a crew member advised Cody had powered the jet on and it was ready to start. He further stated he could only open the door once from an outside switch. You want a taser? The fuck is happening? As he was seen in the cockpit holding a knife, and it was unsure if he could fly a plane, they decided to open the door. Did he bust through it? Yeah, go right through it. He actually just sold it two cartons. He's up in the window. He's putting it done. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that fucking alarm go off? The fuck was that? Come out, come out. Get out now. I'm gonna be in bagel. Get out now. What the fuck is happening? I don't have another cartridge. Come on now, show me your hands. You have another taser cartridge? Show me your hands now. Come here. That's like the alarm. That's like the alarm that goes off when you like live on a boat and like it's like, it's like it, there's like a threat that it like might sink. There's a fire, go check. I don't smell anything. Wait, what does this say on my phone? Red flag warning. What the fuck is a red flag warning? Red flag warning. Significant threat to life or property. Oh shit, is there a tornado? Where do I go? <laughs> Let me see outside, is it windy and shit? No, there's like nothing going on outside. Bro, oh, shut the fuck up. It's not that serious. I don't think anything's wrong. Go gear up. I got a shit, bro. <laughs> Although they were able to hit Cody with one beanbag round, he continued to hold the knife and ignore orders. 
Come on now. <laughs> I'll see something in there. I'm gonna sneak up and I'll see it. No, the door's open. Guys, why are you saying? Why are you saying? Get the strap. It's like a fire alarm. Wait. Wait. It says impacts. Any fires that develop will likely spread rapidly. Make preparations, take action within the next hour. This was at 11 a.m. It hasn't even been 11 a.m. yet. <clears throat> it is a fire. Should I go take a look? Let me go, let me go peep the hallway and see if there's any like distress going on. There's no one even out there, bro. There's no one even out there. They all left. <laughs> they all left. <laughs> They've been gone. <laughs> You're the only one still in the building. I mean, if shit really gets serious, I can like make a last second escape. I can get out of here in like literally four seconds. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can, bro. Like, like a thousand percent. Yeah, look my wrist. Look my bitch. You're not gonna grab anything. Just my keys. And this, and then my phone. Hey, what's your name, sir? Bobby. And the pen. Is everything insured? Yes, sir. Can you step out and talk to us, please? Drop the knife. Drop the knife in his right hand. Drop the knife. Left hand. Left hand. Sir, we don't want to hurt you. Just come out. We want to talk. No one wants to hurt you. Sir, drop the knife and come out. Sir. Get your extinguisher on deck. Sir. I'm not here to fight the fires, bro. I'm here to just fucking dip. Let's just step out of the car and we'll talk, okay? What's your name, bud? Bang him again. Bang him again. Bang him again. Bang him again. No morning blinkers. Refund. Still in his hand. Still in his hand. Drop the knife. Cody, just come out, man. Nobody wants to hurt you. I just want you to come out with your hands up. You gotta drop the knife and come out with your hands up. Bro, if he has a knife and you have a gun, just fucking push him. If you never played COD, you have a riot shield. Quit being a fucking pussy, dude. Kid with the kid with the shield is being so selfish. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to refund. Mod. Drop that knife by the stairway so we see you don't have it, and then put your hands up. No, yeah, it, this literally is a R6 map. I forgot about that. Show us your hands and step out. We'll get you help, buddy. Nobody wants to hurt you. Bro's got a pump. Go use it, bro. We'll let you, we'll let you do that out here. Come on, man. Let's just get this over with. Come on out. Take, keep your hands up. Keep them empty. You hungry? We'll get you some food. We'll get you something to drink. What do you think about more OC? What's that? More OC. Bro, they wouldn't ring the alarm. Dude, if it was serious, they wouldn't fucking stop and then go on again. We will not shoot you. We will not hurt you. If you come out with your hands up, empty. Thank you. It's a flashbang. Let's see your hands, buddy, and just walk out. The Bearcat armored vehicle then arrived and was positioned in front of the plane to prevent it from taking off. 
Come on, sir. Drop it. Just drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Come on out. Let's Come on. see your hands. It's, it see looks like hands. Kurt Cobain. Just your hands. Drop it. Hands. Drop hands. It. Hands. Drop it. Don't want your hands now. Another taser. Drop it now. To the left. Right. Right. He's trying to rizz him up. Do you talk to me? What's your plan today? Do you have any explosives with you? What, what kind of explosives do you have? C4? Where did you get that? <laughs> Cody Where did you get C4? C4 explosives he claimed to have obtained from the government and had a dead man switch. He also stated he had two handguns. What do you got in your hand? Is that just sunglasses? Hey. Stay back by the clock. Zeus is right here. Let's do dog warnings and. Well, I can't. I can't move from here. I'm just on the pavement here. I'm not. I'm not gonna get you. Bro, it's like an eight v one. Just push. He's talking. He's talking. Come on out if drop. You got everything. Hands out. Come out. We'll back up. Hands free. Hands free. Come on out. Yeah, this happened like last month. We can have you do a bathroom. We can. Uh, we can have you come down here and then we can get you to a bathroom. I can tell you that. There's one right in the hangar. Hold on, let me take a video of it. Come on, you're not moving, man. Because I got shot in the leg. Okay, twice. well, we'll get you some help for that. But we got to have you move if we move, okay? Come to the top of the stairs. Come to the top. Up, and I'll give you the bomb. Okay, come to the top of the stairs. No, this, this dude wrote... This this dude reminds me the dude that's hijacking the plane. This is the same dude that was on on siege last night, where you guys went to his stream and he started like losing his shit. It's the same guy. Stop! Yeah, Care Blair. It's Care Blair. <laughs> He stole cigarettes and now he's hijacking a plane? How did he even get in the plane? Dude, kid with the shield needs to just push and melee. They got this big ass UAV, bro. You don't need a UAV. You know where he's in the cockpit. Just start spraying the cockpit. <laughs> you hear he said? He said, let me out or we all... <laughs> stated his need to take a shit. Police <laughs> went to the back of the plane to disconnect the main battery supply line, effectively disabling the aircraft. C4. Are there any His nearby truck was quickly searched, revealing knives, a stun gun, and 40 caliber ammunition. But no Dude, I don't know how to refund. About 11 days before You're not getting scammed, bro. You'll get it back. After he was caught driving recklessly through a cornfield while impaired. If someone tells me how to do it, I'll do it. Really? I don't know how to do it. I tried to do slash refund and it's not a, that's not a command. For what? Trapping? Oh, yeah. He was doing like burnouts in some farmer shield. Alright, thank you.
and killed the battery. They said he can't, no matter what, he can't turn it off. So that's a win. That's better than where we were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got to do something. So there you go. Got into the airplane. I'm like, what? This isn't Grand Theft Auto. We, we, we were listening <laughs> we to the start. We were like, wait a minute. They Shut the fuck up. They said there was someone driving on a tarmac. Uh, that's what initially came out. Then it came in that he's running on a tarmac. Then he's going to the field. I'm 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 going to the this is what I'm saying, bro. Cops love dragging the situation. They could have been pumped this dude in the head. But instead, they're out fucking gossiping. Trying to get content for the YouTube video. They got the entire city's police force out here and they're not doing shit. Looks like they're waiting for the president to get off. Hello? Bro, they're just testing the alarm. He made me. He made me open the door to prove that it's going off. I was like, it's been going off. Like, hold on, do one second, and then he fucking clicked the button, and then it went. <laughs> they're going. So every time you hear it going off, they're testing it at someone's house. That's fucking just the stupidest shit ever. No, there's no button. There's no button. He had like a he had like a fucking walkie-talkie and like I don't know. Why'd they send that notification? No, that that was like the weather. That was a weather warning. It's just like a coincidence. I mean, I know Grant's worried about gas in the plane, but he's smoking. He's smoking. Let's stick on it. Talking about him in the uh, air traffic control. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they can hear him? Yeah, they can hear him. Oh, he can hear him. He can hear air traffic control. Cody, you got a light with him? How big is the complex? I don't even know. None of us here. He was on when we got here. He kept trying to put the door up and we kept putting it back down. There's two bags there that I searched, um, found a couple more knives, a little taser, uh, a lot of his medications, um, clothes, stuff like that. But he had a knife on the plane. He had a knife on the plane. He dropped it and Steve grabbed it. Yep. All right, who's going to step the fuck up? I don't check my email, so I don't know. I don't know how long we're gonna go through this, guys. I'm sorry. Responded. The shield team was then deployed and were able to apprehend him without incident. He's not talking C4 to the shield detonate. That's a three piece. <laughs> this dude got out of here as fast. He's not trying to get anywhere. Wait, why is he bleeding? Ah. Look at all this zin. He was just getting a fat Nick buzz and then he... <laughs> Sorry, 
He probably put them all in his mouth and then came out. <laughs> He's like, fine. <laughs> There's my stolen cigarettes. Yep. He was smoking all the nick and then he dipped. Found my stolen cigarettes. He's my my uh, suspect in my cigarette. You guys check for taser probes too. No, I don't know where they're at. I don't know if they hit him or not. As a result, Cody caught half a dozen charges, which were felony counts of attempted carjacking, possession of a weapon, attempted armed robbery with threat of force, making terrorist threats, bomb scares, failure to comply, and misdemeanor criminal damage to property. Given the nature of the incident, the La Crosse police said that the FBI would be involved in this investigation, which may result in additional charges. Ultimately, his cash bond was set at $500,000. How did he let them open the door to the plane? See, this was scripted. This was scripted. Don't ask me how, but... It could be AI. We don't even know if they're... Um...